Do you know the meaning of the knight cards in tarot? Let me explain. The knights are all riding horses. We have the knight of pentacles, the knight of cups, the knight of wands, and the knight of swords. Why are they riding horses? The reason why is because, as you can see here, the knight, he's not touching the floor, he's not touching the earth. That means he's halfway through to connect into spirit. But it's the horse that's touching the earth, the horse which is an animal, so he's the representation of the physical realm. That means he's in between, he's a mediator. He's in between the physical realm and between the spirit realm because he's not, he's only touching the earth through the horse. So he's trying to reach spirit. And his mind here is connected to spirit. That's why this part is higher and its part is lower. So we have earth and spirit as above, so below. The horse allows you to also move forward in your spiritual journey. And we can see this depiction clearly here in this Knight of Wands. He looks like he's dashing with his horse forward. And it also represents the fact that your lower body part, as in your feet, are always going to be more connected to earth than your mind, where your brain is, where your head, where your head is connected to spirit, to the skies, to the heavens. So the above is always connected to your mind, or if you want crown chakra, like how the Hindus believe. And if you want to connect to earth, it's going to be your root chakra and specifically through your feet. Your feet are going to connect you the most to the earth elements. And that's why when we say grounded, it means you're touching the ground. Someone who's grounded to the earth it means you have to touch the, uh, the ground with your feet to become grounded. And here we have the four elements. We have the pentacles representing the earth element, the cups representing the water elements, the wands representing the fire elements, and then the swords representing the air elements. So these knights are all, they all have different depictions. We have in the knight of cups, the horse is actually riding on the water, not on earth, meaning that for the knight of cups, the main element is water. Ra water replaces earth. And this is very interesting. So here we're talking about water and spirit, not earth and spirit. For the Nine of Pentacles, the horse is stepping on earth. So, so we have earth below, spirit above. And then the Nine of Cups, we have the horse riding on water. So we have the water below and spirit above and then for the fire we have the horse stepping on fire meaning the fire is below and spirit is above and then for air he's kind of stepping on air you don't see the ground much here it's like air he's floating basically so the air is below but also the air is above so he's in the air basically and that's why he has wings that allows him to fly in the air. But so is the wands one. He has wings as well. And the watered one has wings as well. The only one that doesn't have wings is the earth one. Here's just a depiction that the earth material is very fixed. It's very uh, hard. It's something that's very concrete and solid versus the other elements that all can be subtle and volatile. They are all volatile therefore they have wings and the things that are volatile are the things that fly and that's why fire air and water they are volatile they can fly they're not solid and fixed as much as earth and that's why in the knight of pentacles the knight doesn't have wings so each card has a very specific depiction and the meaning for why it is drawn a certain way and i just wanted to share this with you let me know if you have any comments or questions.